Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs. Today with an Audion receiver from my collection. It was manufactured and sold by Horst Ribbeck in Germany uh, on eBay. And I bought one from him some years ago because it is so beautifully manufactured. Um, you can see, for example, this basket weave coil for medium wave reception and you also get another coil for short wave reception in the 49 meter band and it's a single tube receiver with a russian tube 12 sh 1 l and the circuit is derived from our namesake burkhard kanka you will see the original circuit in the background and he has modified it a little bit. Um, what you can see here is just the coil for the resonant tank circuit, the tube which is uh, lit from below in, with an orange LED, and you have a ground banana jack and two antenna inputs for a long wire antenna. Then you have a little potentiometer for the operating point of the tube, the feedback potentiometer and except for the main tuning dial with a variable capacitor you also have a fine tuning capacitor which is especially useful in the short wave range. Now if we open the case you can see how nice this is done with a uh, copper ground plate where all Connections are directly soldered, the two potentiometers, the two variable capacitors, and all is operated with a lithium ion or lithium polymer pack, and he also has the charger, the charging circuit inside, hidden in the wooden cabinet or wooden case. And the second part, now the, the low frequency output goes uh, to a kind of active uh, loudspeaker which if we open it has also a little amplifier inside which is this little circuit so old technology meets new technology and again the lithium ion or lithium polymer battery pack with the charging circuit and all in all this looks so beautiful that I had to uh, get one. Uh, I will give you a link to his eBay shop in case of I don't know if he's still active. Anyway, I think he sold or does sell this kit. Oh, it's not a kit. It's fully built up just as it as you can see it here in the video. And I think he did sell or does sell international. Ah, and we should still demonstrate that it is working. Perhaps you already could hear the noise in the background. So, and to prove that, is, that it is working, I have again our little AM transmitter, a modulator, our coupling coil, and I have the sound input from my smartphone. And perhaps you can hear in the background people talking in German. I'll try to fine-tune it a bit. So everything's working. One tube is enough. You could, if you want, to couple directly a headphone to, to the output, a uh, high impedance headphone from the past with two times 600 ohm or two times uh, two kilo ohms. But in this case, for you to make it uh, to prove that it is really receiving, we hear it over the active loudspeaker box. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye from Roger, bye from Kanka Labs.